Careers in the music industry are common childhood dreams, rarely meaning reality. Nearly every musician would love nothing more than to wake up tomorrow and find their glorious peak of superstardom. One musician in particular wants nothing more than the opposite. Content with hometown gigs and the love he has for a simple tune, Tom Faye takes more pride in his family and kids than his own past or talent. There's an old saying that I say all the time, that man plans and God laughs. And I think that, that uh, I, I couldn't be happier with my present life now. It, uh, uh, I, it was just meant to be the way it is. Tom grew up in McKeesport, Pennsylvania, where he started his journey into music. City to New York City to Boston to West Virginia, uh, back to Boston to California, back to Boston, uh, and all over New England touring with bands. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it a great deal. The music business is it's like a big circle where you start out playing in a garage band just with your friends and just hanging and just enjoying music and then you get involved in, in lawyers and managers and and contracts and all the rest of the nonsense and you're making good music but it's it's a job it, it's not as easy and it's, it's a little stressful and then you come all the way around after you're done with that stuff to where I am and you're back playing garage band music again and that's just what just what I like to do that's why you start the whole business in the first place just because you love to play music he credits music and fate for introducing him to his wife, who he married in 1982. During one of our breaks, uh, I went up to the bar, and he, the owner of the bar, sent me over a beer and said, and said, that's from that blonde over there, and that was my future wife, Ginny. She knew nothing about it. It was kind of a, he was playing a trick on her. So I went over to thank her, and she just looked at me like I was just crazy. But uh, from there, I, I, uh, I was very interested from the minute I saw her. Yeah, if I wasn't in the band, I would have never met her. So, music, you don't necessarily have to be commercially successful to be successful and to have fun with it. That's what music's all about to me. Dad used to say, if it ain't fun, don't come. And that's one that stuck. The most important thing I learned from my dad was to always do something for the fun of it. Whether it be softball or soccer or music lessons or my career, he always taught us that if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Tom soon had seven kids following in his footsteps. He grew up with the same passion for music. I think music was a, a major role in our young lives as we were all brought up learning the piano and different instruments, although some of us never stuck with it. It was, it was a valuable lesson to learn and enjoy the music that we were playing, you know, throughout our young lives to mold us into the individuals we are today. And now being able to go back and, like you said, being able to jam with him, it's just, yeah, it's the best thing ever, you know? And he's never been anything but supportive of anything we've ever done. Even when any any one of us showed an interest in anything, it was always, yep, here you go, I was just you can have it. There, there was never a question of, are you sure you want that? It was, oh, you show an interest, here you go. Right. The inventory of music equipment and stuff that he has, and we were able to just use it at any given time we ever wanted to. It was great. I feel as though Dad not only influenced our lives musically, but also was the greatest coach and mentor and friend that we could ever ask for. My kids are probably uh, better musically than I am at this point. There's nothing better though than playing with your kids on stage, live. 